Okay, today's lesson is once again about uh, using trig functions, tangent, sine, and cosine, to find unknown things in the real world, like heights of trees and light placement and th things like that. So um, let's take a look. Uh, a tree casts a shadow that is 35.6 feet long. Um, at that time, the angle of elevation of the sun is 55 degrees, shown here. Okay, let's find the height of the tree. So, of course, um, this is a right triangle. The height of the tree, um, I, I'm just going to call that x. All right, explain why tangent 55 opposite over adjacent could help us find the height. Um, because if we're talking opposite and adjacent, the opposite leg is the height of the tree, which is what we're looking for, and the adjacent leg is something that we know, 35.6. So that's why this would help us. Now, write a trig equation for tangent of 55 using the diagram. So um, tangent of 55 degrees is going to equal opposite over adjacent, so x over 35.6. Now, solve your equation to find the tree's height. Okay, um, so to solve this equation, of course, I'm going to multiply both sides by 35.6. That way, these 35s will cancel each other out. So I'm going to have um, basically 35.6 tangent 55 is going to equal x, which is going to equal 50.8 feet. OK, that's the height of that tree. Moving on, number two. A ladder is leaning against the outside of a wall of a building, the outside wall of a building. The ladder is exactly 10 feet long and makes an angle of 65 degrees with the ground. Let's fight, find the height that the ladder reaches along the building. All right, so we need, need to uh, sketch a picture. All right, here's my building, here's my ladder. Um, the ladder is 10 feet long, so um, there's my 10 feet. Okay, it makes a 65 degree angle with the ground, so this would be 65 degrees right here. Okay, um, a right triangle, so you know, there's my right angle right there. So there's my sketch, man. Explain why cosine 65 would not be the um, most useful. Well, cosine is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, and uh, neither one of those is the height on the building. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. Yeah, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Neither of those is the height of the ladder on the building. A more useful trig ratio um, would be the sine function because the opposite over hypotenuse, the opposite leg will be the height of the ladder uh, along the building. So this is what I'm calling x right here. Okay, the height of the ladder on the building. So that would be sine 65 is equal to x over 10. So solving that equation would mean uh, multiplying both sides by 10. So in other words, 10 sine 65 will equal x. Calculator, that is 9.1 feet. up the wall. That's how high the ladder would reach. Okay, now let's figure out how far the base of the ladder is from the building. Write and solve a trig equation to help you find that. 
Okay, so um, we're supposed to call that Z. There's my Z. That's the adjacent leg, so I would use cosine now. Uh, cosine 65 is Z over 10. So let's do that. Cosine 65 is equal to Z over 10. Again, multiplying by 10 on both sides. Okay, that way these tens are going to cancel out. So this will give me the answer from the calculator. So z is equal to 4.2 feet. Okay, so that's how far the base of the ladder is um, from the building. All right, what else do we have here? Um, problem number three. A lighting tech needs to shine a spotlight onto an actor's face. That's the spotlight, that's the face. Um, let's see, the light is attached to a ceiling that is 10 feet above the actor's face. All right, so that means this distance right here, face, ceiling, that's 10. When the spotlight shines on the actor's face, the light beam makes an angle of 70 degrees with the vertical line. So we're told that this is 70 degrees because that's the vertical line. Let's figure out how far the light is from the actor's face. So that's going to be the hypotenuse. So I'll go ahead and call that x because that's what we were, we were just asked to find. Label the triangle in the figure with the given information. We just did that. Write a trig equation that could be used and then we're supposed to solve it. Um, well, 10 is adjacent, x is hypotenuse, so uh, that's the cosine function. So we should be going cosine of 70 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, 10 over x. Now, um, how do we solve equations when the unknown is in the denominator? Well, that's when we do our reversal, yes? So that's why we're going to get x equals 10 over cosine 70. x equals 29.2 feet. All right, that's the distance to the actor's face. All right, obviously I just put that in the calculator. All right, um, we're almost to the end of this assignment, shortest assignment ever. Um, a forest ranger is on a lookout tower in a forest. His observation post is blah, blah, blah. We're going to have to sketch this picture. All right, so let me sketch the picture. OK, so a forest ranger is on the lookout tower uh, in the forest. His observation post is 214.7 feet, uh, feet above the ground. So that's the height of this lookout tower. When he spots an illegal campfire, um, the angle elevation from the top of the lookout tower is um, s the angle of elevation from the fire to the top of the lookout tower is 78 degrees. Um, so this should be a fire down here. OK, so there's my fire. 78 degrees uh, angle of elevation. Now, sketch and label a picture to portray the situation. Uh, we've done that. Write a trig equation that can be used to determine the unknown quantity. The distance between the base of the tower and the fire. So, you know, here's the base of the tower. There's the fire. Um, so this is the distance that we're supposed to find. All right, the distance from here to here. Okay, from the base of the tower to the fire. So um, we've got the uh, opposite from the, from the angle. This height is opposite, and the unknown is adjacent. Opposite over adjacent is the tangent function. So we will set up and say tangent of 78 degrees should equal opposite over adjacent. Okay, opposite over adjacent, so that's the tangent function. Now finally we're supposed to solve this to uh, find the distance um, uh, to the fire. 
And of course, once again, we will multiply. No, we will not multiply. The uh, unknown is in the denominator, so we will do the reversal. OK, so that is going to give us that um, x equals 214.7 over tangent uh, 78. All right, so that's going to give us x equals calculator time. It is 45.6 feet. Okay, and that is the end of the lesson.